Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between imperative and declarative programming. Um, now the definition is um, for imperative, you're looking at um, actually implementing what you're trying to do. Um, but where with, with um, declarative, you're saying how you want something to be done. So there's, there's quite a distinction between the two. Um, I've got CodePen open here. Best bet, let's jump in and we can give an example. Um, so if I just create a div here, uh, actually let's make, a, let's make a button and put on there, click me. Um, and then if we look to add um, an event handler to, to this in um, both manners, man um, both approaches, um, imperatively and declaratively. So let's try um, an imperative approach first where we literally um, implement how that event handler will get added. Um, so if I give it uh, an ID of button, button one, Okay, I'll just scroll this up a little bit here. Um, and we'll just put something on to show that it has been clicked. Okay, so to imperatively add an event handler, we're going to do let b equals And we're going to get hold of our button and then we'll literally add uh, the event listener and we say we're going to add an event listener for click and it will call this function uh, and what we'll do is just update that div um, so let's say um, clicked equals so we'll get hold of that as well okay so that gets our div and we say click dot class list dot add and we'll stick a class on there of red and so if we just define that Say the background color just so we can see. Like so. Um, so, yeah, looking over here, we've got our button, uh, we've got our clicked, and we've literally, imperatively, added um, the event listener here, the code for an explicit JavaScript code. Um, so, when I click on click me, uh, nothing happens, but that is because I've got an error. Button one, let's try button one. Okay, and it goes red, so it's working. Um, so that's imperative. Um, you've you've literally defined how you're going to add the event. Uh, now, declarative is we just say what we want to do, um, and to do that, an example of that would be. On the button we can just say on click on click I want it to call this function I will say handle and then we can just do the same sort of code down here um, so, you know, we are still running code, um, but it's the event part that we're looking at and the event we have declaratively specified here um, and in the background, the browser will end up writing this code for us. It could do it a different way. Um, could, we don't really care. We just said what we want to happen. We've declared what we want to happen. Um, so if I take out that for the moment, we should see this still turning red. If I had it right handle click, you want to call it. 
and that still works. Um, so there you go, just a quick shot of code there. Um, the difference between imperative and declarative programming. Uh, I hope that was interesting. If you'd like to see more of these videos, then feel free to click on that subscribe there. Um, and Google will probably display another video that might be of interest to you as well. Um, but thanks very much for watching. Bye.